Live from Don Stadium in Norwich, Connecticut, it's Game 7 of the Northeast Conference Baseball Championship featuring the top-seeded Bryant University Bulldogs and the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils. Outfield deep and straight away for Matthews, who has seven home runs this year. The 1-2 blown by him. Gould strikes out the side here in the first. No runs, one hit, one error, two left aboard. The Columbia transfer has been fantastic this year for Bryant, and he hits one high and deep to left. Tornero is going back. He looks up at the wall, near the top of the wall, and it's gone! That's a home run! Liam McGill goes deep. Central thinks that the ball is live, but they are saying home run. The left field umpire, Tim Detweiler, was right on it, and Bryant takes a 1-0 lead on McGill's 10th home run of the year. Tornero and Dwayne were adamant that that was not a home run. They came in immediately all the way into the infield signaling challenge. Tornero looked like he may have gotten a glove on it. Let's see, top of the wall, and did he bring it back? Did it go off the glove and pop up? And the ball is live. Where do you put him? They're gonna put him at third. Triple, third base. Wow. The 2-1, hit out into right center field. Dwayne is giving chase, so is Matthews, and it finds the gap. McGill scores, Smith, Slides into second base. It's a ribby double for Derek Smith. And now Bryant takes a 1-0 lead. And the 1-1 pitch. Swung on into left field. That's a base hit. Smith, the left fielder, falls. Now bobbles it. And a runner will come in to score. Runners on second and third as Loda crosses the plate. And we are tied at one on the RBI single by Pasqualini. From the belt. Swing and a miss. Huge strikeout for Gould. He whiffs the final two batters of the inning. Liam McGill tripled off the left field wall. Lines this one to center. There's Dwayne racing back, and this one's going to be off the wall. Into third base goes Gustin. Newman fires, grounded a short, could be two. Over to second, back to first, the scoop and a double play! The Blue Devils get out of the jam! Bryant leads the league in grounding and a double plays. I believe that's number 19 for them on the season. Here's the 0-2 pitch, sidewinder, ripped down the right field line. It is inside the bag. That's going to be extra bases. Retrieving is Woods at third base. Here comes DeVito, and he scores! Hit his fourth home run of the year during this tournament. Ripped into center field, but Dwayne has a beat on it. Goes back to the warning track and makes a leaping catch. Back to first base goes Kelly. And the pitch is squipped. Oh, crazy bounce. Gets by Nicholas. They wave in Covino and he scores. A single for Noah Martinez and Central Connecticut takes a 3-1 lead. Hit well. Right center field, Siliento over in the gap, makes the catch, Martinez tags, he scores easily. Dwayne goes from second to third, Central Connecticut with a five to one lead. Sack fly RBI for Sam Loda. The one one, hit out towards short, grab, and it's over! Central Connecticut State repeats as Northeast Conference champions. They win it for the seventh time in their history, and they are going to the NCAA tournament. The final score, Blue Devils five and Bryant two. And the dog pile is on for CCSU, the champions in 2021.
All right, guys, thanks so much. It's seventh heaven for the Blue Devils, a seventh Northeast Conference Tournament Championship. They're going to the NCAA Tournament for the third time in the last four tournaments. Buddy Dwayne, congratulations. It, it was a day that started with you guys scooping water from the track here just to get this field playable, and it ends with a championship. How memorable is this going to be? I mean, this is my third, and this one's going to be the most memorable, man. We were out here at 7.30 in the morning. We woke up. We came to this field. We shoveled all the water off of it. We weren't losing. We weren't losing because of a rain out. Now, you're a guy that gets pretty excited, like, on anything. How, how excited are you right now just for this game to be played and get the win? So excited. I mean, this is, this is probably the best moment of my career so far. Uh, I, I don't even have words for how excited I am. Now, what, go into your decision to come back for this year, come back to Central Connecticut State. Was it unfinished business to, to get to this? Um, definitely. I mean, I think God just had a plan for me, and this is where I was supposed to be. Um, I would die for these guys. They're the grittiest group of guys I've ever met in my life, and we're going to go make some noise in the regional. You, you did a couple years ago, and now you're going back. And talk about a little bit about the pitching, from, from Braun to come back on short rest, and then Newman to go pretty much all night, five innings. What can you say about the pitching and the defense behind them? Just their dogs. The pitching staff are dogs. Even when they don't have their best stuff, they're always out there competing. I mean, I, they out hit us today, but our pitchers kept us in the game. Double play balls, you know, they, they come through in the right times. And I always have trust in them. Well, congratulations. You're going back to the NCAA tournament. Yes, sir. Thank you. Buddy Dwayne, we'll switch you out here with Dave Matthews. Dave, congratulations. We know two years ago in game seven, you had a big home run. This year, you had a hit that was one of the big hits to break the tie, put you guys in front. What did you see in that screamer down the line here? Looking for a good pitch to hit. You know, it kind of stayed away from me all day. I'm so proud of these guys, man. It took, took everybody. And, you know, I think coming into today, there was no doubt. You know, we kind of woke up, a little bit of a chip on our shoulder, you know, being the two seed, you know, they, they're they a great team. You know, they always come to play. We knew it was going to be a dogfight every single inning. You know, I'm so proud, man. I'm so proud of these guys. You know, when, we, when we got to this field however many hours ago, one of the biggest uh, biggest uh, parts that was trouble was out there in right field. It was a swimming pool. So what was it like navigating your way through there? You know, this is what we do. We, we fought adversity. We always fight adversity. You know, it was just another little obstacle we had to overcome. I think there is no doubt that we were going to play this game. I think every single guy wanted to play this game. And I'm just glad we got the W. What is it about the defense? It seems like that's a staple every year with your teams. The, the double plays, the catches, the last catch for the final out. What is it about your defense? You know, these guys just compete. They come out every day, every day of practice. We come out, we work on the same stuff, you know. The, the middle's been great all year. Pitching's been great. Andrew Braun, you know, he's had a great year. Carried us. He's coming off short rest. So, you know, we really needed him to step up. Jake Newman, same thing. Freshman. You know, not a lot of experience in the tournament, but these guys were great all day, all day. Now, a couple years ago when you went to Arkansas, you kind of won over the fans there with your play. It became kind of New Britain South. Uh, what do you expect to do now going wherever you go to the NCAA tournament this time around? Same thing, man. Looking to make some noise, you know. It, it, was, it was nice being a little brother in the tournament. I think uh, the expectations are a little bit higher this year. I think coming out, um, we're going to try and have to do the same thing, hop on early and score some runs, have some fun. We'll let you go into get into a picture. Congratulations. Dave Matthews, let's bring in Coach Hickey. Coach, come on in. Congratulations on another Northeast Conference Championship, seventh one for Central Connecticut State in the program. Fourth time, though, you've come out of the loser's bracket to do it. So when you guys lost that game to Brian a couple days ago, it was almost like you had him right where you want him, right? Well, I don't know about that. Um, they're a quality team. They're well coached. They got some really good players. Um, but we just scrapped and clawed and found a way to win the game. Um, you know, coming out of loser's bracket, we beat Sacred Heart, and then last night be able to play and battle. Um, and I don't know if it was a break or not today. We were back out of the hotel early, but, you know, with the rain, we sat around for four or five hours and, you know, maybe gave us a chance to recharge your battery a little bit. And uh, the kids did a great job again today. They battled, you know, it was it was not pretty, but but it, but it was pretty fun, you know, and it, it means a lot to me for for some of the four kids that came back after last year. You know, they all had graduated. They all could have moved on, but to come back and lay it out on the on the field like they did was. Some, Smarter than they are. Yeah. It's a cold night already. Yeah, exactly.
what, what, what did you expect from your pitching? You know, going with Braun on short rest, and then did, did you intend to have uh, your closer go that long? Well, and we were trying to get to the fifth or sixth inning, you know, and Andrew Braun had been talking about Tommy Curtin all weekend, and Tommy did it two years ago, um, so Andrew wanted that opportunity. And he gave us a couple innings, you know. There was one spot in the game, and, and I was reflecting back on 2019 in the championship, and and that was the double play with the bases loaded. And last, in, in 19's championship, I think we turned four double plays in the game. So that was a huge momentum thing that, you know, didn't let them get out ahead of us. Um, and then we made one later in the game, too. Um, and all of a sudden, we're back into the seventh inning, a little bit different. And and then you could start the count outs. Um, got a little sloppy at the end. You know, we had two outs, nobody on in the eighth. And then all of a sudden, their second baseman's up, who's a heck of a player, and the player of the year is on deck. You know, and you think we, we got out of that, and you think, all right, let's just continue to throw strikes, not walk people, make routine plays. But luckily, that last ball was hit at somebody. Pitching and defense do it again, Coach. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thanks. That's Coach Hickey, the Central Connecticut State Blue Devils, going back to the NCAA tournament for the third time in the last four years. Dave, back to you. The Central Connecticut State University Blue Devils. Congratulations to Tom Pin since the interim AD for Central Connecticut, Charlie Hickey, their longtime head coach, and all of the Blue Devils out there taking that celebratory championship photo here on the field at Dodd Stadium. Quite a group. It really is a bunch of energetic, fun-loving baseball players who take on the personality of their coach, Charlie Hickey, a baseball lifer. He has baseball dirt in his veins. And this team just does everything they have to do to scrap and claw to try to win a ball game. They're a credit to this university. They are. Well, Paul, it's been a fun weekend. Look forward to doing it again. Some tremendous baseball here in Norwich. We thank our PAC Network crew, Jared Fieldsen, all the camera people out there in the rain, Craig D'Amico. Now for Paul Dottino, Dave Popkin saying so long from Dodd Stadium. Final score once again, Central Connecticut 5, Bryant 2. Jake Newman the winner, 91 pitches, four and two-thirds innings in relief. He goes to 2-0 on the year. Central Connecticut wins back-to-back. NEC titles, three in the last four years, and they are going to the NCAA tournament. Check out the selection show on ESPN2 at noon tomorrow. Congratulations to the Bryant Bulldogs for a fine season. But the Blue Devils from New Britain are the champions here in the NEC. So long from Don Stadium.